YouTube, I am back and I owe y'all some content. I'm starting off strong with a highly requested video for DIY custom cups. These are perfect for anything from birthdays, baby showers, custom party favors, business events, and a lot more. So make sure you're subscribed. I have a lot more DIY videos on the way and let's go ahead and get started. Starting with our materials, we have water slide paper that only works with inkjet printers, so make sure you have both. And I usually get mine from Michaels or Amazon, but not the ones from Hobby Lobby. Then you'll have your acrylic spray paint. I get mine from Hobby Lobby, and I always get the gloss finish. You can use any color, or you can even use glass, but I use white stadium style plastic cups that you can order from Amazon or three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then I use these white beer pong style cups that I get from Hobby Lobby. They're better for like quotes or smaller images. Then you'll need scissors and then sealant spray to give it a protective coat, or you could use resin to give it a hard coat and make it permanent. So step one, you're gonna create your design. I swear by Canva, I am Canva Pro, and that is money that is not wasted. I upload my image and I use their background remover tool as well as their shadows tool because it kind of helps stand out from the cup. You can play with the color, the size, and all kind of different effects on Canva. So I definitely recommend using this when creating it. I just either upload any kind of image that I think, um, you know, will pretty much look lit on the cup. Make sure your dimensions match the size of your water slide paper. That's super important. You're going to try to also make sure that each image is not too big on the cup. Because there's been times I printed it off and it's like, damn. This is either too small or too big. So there I'm playing with a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use some, some different text options so I can put different quotes and phrases. If you stay tuned towards the end, you'll get a better idea for all the different styles that people um, asked for. Some people sent their design, some people didn't. Here you can use different elements. That's why, again, I love Canva. You can um, put all kinds of graphics in and all that good stuff. So make sure you save your design. I use a transparent background, but this is where you'll use to print and get it going. Again, you do have to have an inkjet printer for these to work, but you'll print it off, let it dry, and make sure it's the right size to fit on the cup. I like to make sure that each image is laying flat before we get started on step three, which is the most important. When we seal with the acrylic spray, you wanna go side to side with a sweeping motion so you can ensure that you cover the entire image with a solid thick coat. If you don't get a good coating on this, it will run when you put it in the water. So just again, make sure you have a solid coat that you let dry for at least a minimum of like, I say 20 to 30 minutes. Step four, when we cut the images out, I like to leave a little bit of room on every single edge just, just to ensure there's no errors. Um, some people, I wonder if you can cut it with your Cricut because if you have a lot of cups, this shit is hell. My hand will be cramping, but for some reason, I just like to cut it myself so I can make sure that I leave enough room around the edges and everything's easily able to transfer without it looking too funky or anything. So step five, we are going to submerge the cup wherever you're placing the image in water so we can make sure that it's wet. So the wetter the better with this, period. Um, when you put your image in the water, you wanna make sure that it's fully coated. Um, it'll crinkle up, so that's kind of why I'm holding the edges just to make sure that the entire image is submerged underwater. It's based upon the water slide paper that you have. So it'll say either 30 seconds or 10 seconds, however long. But there you can see, again, I got the cup wet. I'm taking the image and I'm lightly using my thumb or my thumbs to slide the image off the back of the paper. So again, it's just like water slide paper, literally. You're gonna slide that image onto your surface. I like to grab a corner, like the top corner, and just kind of slide diagonally. In the bottom right, you'll see like, if you don't cut, and you leave enough space, you can see where my arm could have possibly messed up. But there we are. I am sliding the image again onto the surface and then just gonna pat it dry with the paper towel. 
if you leave it wet you'll be able to pretty much maneuver it so if you make any errors or anything like that again the wetter the better it is definitely trial and error you have to play with it a little bit and kind of get a better feel for you know exactly how to place it um i wish i would have known someone who used this before i kind of just learned about it just through google honestly because i used to mess these up horribly here you can see i'm using like the beer pong cup my sister's birthday was the other day she's so cute um i'm sliding her image onto the cup however if you could tell at the bottom i am having trouble with putting the image over the bump without causing like a ripple or air bubbles so if you really play with it you can but that's why i always advise to use stadium cups so again you'll pat everything dry each image that you put on there you'll pat it dry and then i just use a paper towel and then make sure all of the air bubbles are out so again i'm placing it here on this beer pong cup you want to make sure that you don't cut it too close just in case there's any errors that occur any folds and then you just slide the back of the paper off so trial and error for sure step seven we're gonna let these dry i like to let them dry for a full 24 hours and make sure there's no water drips because it will make the ink drip as well and then you can seal your image so you can use those sealants that we advise in the beginning of the acrylic sprays or you can also use a very thin coat of resin resin will be more of a permanent option and these sealant sprays would be a little bit more temporary it'll just give it a protective coat from scratches but i love how they came out You'll see the stadium cups and then the beer pong, but these are cute as shit. So here's a final look at them. We have the beer pong style and the stadium style. Again, a really unique touch to any event. I made so many custom cup orders and I have got to show you them because I have some of my favorites. So stay tuned and check out all of these previous orders I've had. This one was my very first order. My friend just hit me up like, hey, I got an idea for you. Can you make this happen? And I did. First time ever using Water Slide. They did a trip and they surprised these girls or the birthday girls. So take a look at their reaction. I love this. That was so cute. This was my second custom cup order. They had a new birthday girl and they did every mood on Savage by Meg Thee Stallion. So this was really unique and really, really cute. But they are not just for the ladies. They can be perfect for any kind of turn up. This was a surprise for his 30th birthday. I think the baby pictures is what really like makes it so funny almost and so cute. Um, we had it on the custom straws, which I'll do a video on those too. But they made that lit. This is the infamous Jake Taylor Jacobs. His birthday, we used the water slide paper even on his acrylic sign. So that was really dope. I loved seeing these on the beer pong style cups. This one was for, I believe, a boat party, but they were celebrating a birthday. It says it's a Trinidadi birthday. <laughs> so the quotes is just all so unique and custom. This was one of my literal favorites. Hers was like the theme of like, fuck you, pay me, because um, her name was Peyton. And she got an acrylic sign. We used the water slide paper on that one too. Made dollar bills. This one was really lit. This one was so cute. Two besties in Houston. They were both celebrating their birthday um, not too far apart. And I just loved how theirs came out as well. This one was super custom. It was like party favors um, for a trip. So each girl had a cup in their bag that was custom to them. So that was so cute. This was for Halloween. And I believe it was like pronounced Halloween. But I loved this one as well. And then she had a business launch or, um, yeah, a business launch for her makeup line, which, oh my gosh, she's so fire. This one was super cute, um, just a, a different type of style event. So you can see all the versatility with these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know any feedback. If you guys do create some, I'd love to see. And make sure you stay tuned for a DIY acrylic sign tutorial coming up next.